looking for everything. Bro. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Hold on, y'all. 15 minutes, 15 minutes till I make this. Hey, making this short. You, hey, if you don't mess with me, bro, mind your business. Why is you worried about what's going on over here? Go find that person that you so-called want somebody to spoil you or look for. Hey, the end of the day, you wanted this. So it's going to be consequences that want that. Bro, leave me alone. I left you alone. You that bored out your day to watch what's going on with my stuff. You obviously miss me. You're not going to find nobody like me. I'm going to tell you that now. It is what it is. I got the right to express to my people. I ain't pin your name on it, so mind your business, dog. Real talk. Like, why are you worried about me? Obviously, you can you can replace it, but you ain't gonna never find nobody like me. That's just it. But worrying about me. I left you alone. Quit messaging me. It is what it is. But we gotta give it to this video. All right, anyway, what's up with my people, man? If y'all new to the channel, or this your first time coming to my channel, my name is Encrypt Decipher, dog. We lit over here. We do vlogs, mainly gaming videos. But I took it to Instagram today, so I'm about to put my Instagrams on this screen, so make sure y'all follow it. But I went on my spam on my YouTube, and I posted up a poll, basically saying why y'all relationships don't last. And this is in y'all's. So we about to make a video on that. And we got um, a gameplay rolling that I was playing with my friends last night. So, I mean, it was going to be hard for me to commentate while I was playing live. So, I just cooked this one. Up. All right. So, first question. Um, I'm going to pick the, the things up there once I read them and all that type of stuff. But anyway, first response and what I put is, why don't y'all re relationships last? YouTube video. The first response, somebody said I get cheated on every time. That's not what everybody, that's not what everybody. It's like a 50-50 chance. If somebody's not bringing pressure, or if it's a vibe wrong, or if somebody is acting different and you know that's not how they normally act, it's either they got something they gotta tell you, or they missing or texting somebody else, or just, it's something else. Just make sure you know your partner completely. Second question, or answer. People always want sex from me instead of getting to know me. That is a fact because 2020, this con, this generation is based on clout, based on body count, based on who are lame, who got money or not. Ain't nobody in here that can cherish or want somebody because they personality or just how they rock. It's always their body. That's how that is. You got to look for somebody that's invested in you. Next question. Why well, keep saying question, answer. I get taken advantage of every time nobody takes me serious. I can agree with taking advantage over because people take advantage over me. But at the end of the day, it's how you how you should never change yourself for nobody at all. If you in a relationship with somebody, you that person, the goal, this is my logic. If I'm in a relationship with somebody, my goal is to push them to be a better person. And that person's gonna push me. You gotta reciprocate the same energy. It gotta be 50-50. Because if it's not, somebody gonna take advantage over you and knowing that all the stuff that is not good enough that they're doing, they're gonna be like, oh she or he's not gonna leave and all that type of stuff. You gotta make sure y'all, y'all energy and consistency is on the same level. Y'all gotta make sure that is. Next one. Ooh, that's that's some explicit basically so that person said we don't take I'll put it on there we don't take females serious we just want sex somebody instead of treating a girl okay all right okay yo people that you experienced last I ain't like that I'm the type of like I said sex is a perk to me I'll get that last that'll be the last thing that I ask you for I want to know you personally and get to know you before that even happened. Like I said, I don't want you for sex at all. I want you because the person that I liked it before that even, like, no, I don't want that. Next question, nobody can hold me. That's facts. I can agree with that on your part. Nobody can hold you and nobody can hold me. That's why I'm single now. Um, Sex is good, but uh, don't want, no boy because of my body uh yeah i mean you get the pretty girls and the uh girls that stay loyal they go to they stay loyal and faithful to the people that just want them for sex and just open them up 
That's what I don't understand. It's like, I don't even, that's, you ain't even gonna get that towards me at all. Like, I that's not something I'm gonna ask for you when we first talk or we dating. Like, I don't want that. I'm trying to put my investments in you. Next answer, no communication. Everybody think expressing feelings is soft. I swear to I ain't even gonna put that on. I swear to Bob. I swear to Bob, bro. I swear to Bob. Ain't nothing wrong with expressing your feelings because communication is the like the number one thing that you need in a relationship. Because if communication ain't there, that relationship gonna flop. I swear to bro. I swear this. Every time I express something, I'm soft or something. What, what's wrong with expressing feelings? That don't even make sense. I agree with you on that. That's the problem. Whenever somebody, that's the biggest thing. If you communicate with me, man, we can get through everything. I swear we can, but I agree with you on that. Next one, every time we argue, she walk out on me and just give up. That's happened to me. That's happened to me. Several relationships. The thing is, you gotta want the relationship. You gotta want it. Both of y'all gotta want it. It can't be one person that wants the relationship and the other one don't. I've been experienced and I've dealt with that. I wanted a relationship the other person didn't. You got to make sure that that person that you are with has the same feelings and equal if not to you. Because if one person wants a relationship and the other one doesn't, they're just going to give up on it. I fight for relationships. And that's a fact. I do. I fight for them. That's that's just it. I said that to myself and I said it's other people. My fault. My mom came in. I, be, I, I cuss, but I be trying to limit it. I don't be trying to uh, say it as much as this person. They should say, you boys ain't shit. That's why. Okay. I am. The people that you dated probably ain't doing it. But if you come with somebody, if you come, yeah, you stumble across somebody like me, that's one of a kind. One of a kind. Next, uh, next answer. Nobody is willing, nobody is willing to go through arguments and help with one person. I am, I'm a fighter. Like I said, I'd rather go through thick and still with one person versus going with another relationship. A relationship is all about building and investing to a person. You can't get in an argument or communicate and, and y'all fall off like, no, that's why I'm saying, that's why I'm single now. Every time, like, man, I ain't even gonna get to that. You gotta, you gotta have a right person that's willing to fight for the relationship and fight for you. Cause like I said, if I'm attached to you, I'm gonna fight for you and willing that I'm not willing. To, I don't like, I won't want you to be happy with nobody else besides me. Like, that's what people take people for granted for. Um, that's kind of a strong word, but bitches wanna fuck and be hoes. That's why you gotta find somebody that's not like that. That's why you gotta, it's like, I ain't, I ain't gonna cap to you. 95% of this generation of females straight go, straight getting ran on. It's only like 5% that's really low and really don't be pulling their bodies out like that. You gotta find somebody. Can't, females can't cherish no good dude. Facts. I've been taking granted for, and that's why exes or people that wanna make fake accounts on Instagram and request to follow me and message me, just view my story. Cause y'all miss out what y'all had. I that's that's like almost all majority of all my exes. Like for real. Like you said you did all this stuff and you now all of a sudden you why are you watching me? Like why are you being weird? Um, <laughs> bitches ain't shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. A majority of them not. Females not. But you like I said you gotta find somebody. You will know when you find that right person because of the vibes. You will know. Next one, sneaky and lie when they get caught. That's happened to me and my long relationship was seven months. That has happened to me and that's kind of one of the main key components of why I broke up and left her. Because, um, like I said, I ain't saying no names. That person did a lot of stuff in that relationship and not crazy though because that was my long. She didn't got that TV loud. Hold on. That, you know what's crazy, you know what I found out, like, whenever I post polls on my main channel, it be some responses, but how my main, how my spam messed me with me more and heavy than my, uh, my main, and I got less followers on my spam, but, um, basically, y'all, I got y'all responses, I know it's way more than that, but I just did the majority ones that I liked it, that stood out, so, but the more of the story, man, you as an individual what i've learned you gotta love yourself first before you even put yourself in a situation with somebody like how i see it whenever a female comes across me 
my alternative goal and ambitions with them is to not only help them grow, push them through their goals, support them, love them, cherish them, protect them, just make them an overall good person. My personal suggestion, whenever I'm talking on a relationship with somebody, I want to get to know them. I want to get to know what they don't like. I want to meet their parents. I want to, you know, meet their siblings. Give their family a good instinct and good feelings towards me that they know that their daughter is in good hands with me. But you believe it's crazy though? I ain't never hit a year with nobody. I ain't never hit a year with nobody at all. That is crazy. My longest relationship was seven months. That's crazy. It's real crazy. But hey. It's cool. If I'm meant to be single, I'm meant to be single. I'm going to just thug it out. Wait for that right person to come to me. I'm not searching. Searching is dead. I'm not even about to waste my time. But, man, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the recent, recent, I don't take pain well at all. I just don't. I, I have to express it in a better way. But this video about to end man make sure if y'all new to the channel man make sure y'all subscribe and tell whoever be watching videos with y'all tell them to come to me and hit that subscribe button but i love y'all man make sure y'all be safe y'all look out for each other and just hit that like button share and i'm out i gotta get this tire switch i love y'all man peace we gone